Bonjour my friends, I'm Frank here and welcome to Club Foodie Tips and Tricks. During the holidays or special occasions, you want everything to be perfect. From the menu to the wine pairing, along with the music, decoration and so on. Another detail that shouldn't be overlooked is how to set up a table properly. And here's how it's done. So my friends, let's do it. So let's start with a basic table setting. We have the fork on the left of the plate resting on a napkin. On the right of the plate, there's the knife. Now before we go further, it's important that the cutlery and the bottom of the plate is all level. From basic, semi-formal and formal, this rule always applies. Another rule that applies at all times is the position of the blade of the knife, which is always in towards the plate. The water glass is placed slightly above the plate at one o'clock when it comes to the basic table setting, but we'll see how its position changes for the other two settings. Now, let's move on to the semi-formal table setting, which is a little more extensive. If we are serving a salad, the salad plate should be on the dinner plate, and the same for the bowl if soup is on the menu. We only add tableware, glassware, and flatware if it will be used. So if there's no soup, we don't add a soup bowl, and obviously there's no soup spoon for this either. Now, without being too fancy, individual salt and pepper shakers can be added. In this case, they are placed right above the center of the dinner plate. When it comes to glassware, the wine glass is placed closer to us than the water glass. If we pair our main dish with red wine, a red wine glass should be on a table. Vice versa if white wine is paired with the menu. Most of the time, bread is served during dinner, so placing a bread plate along with a butter knife is absolutely appropriate. That plate is placed on the top left of the dinner plate at 11 o'clock. Now, if you want to elevate your semi-formal setting, it's fine to place a dessert fork and a dessert spoon above the plate, pointing in opposite directions. In that case, when adding them, the individual salt and pepper shakers are placed above these. Now, here's the formal setting. A charger plate is placed first, followed by the dinner plate. When dinner is ready to be served, we take the charger plate along with the dinner plate. At this point, our guests already took their napkins and lay them on their laps. The same applies here. Calorie and the bottom of the plate is all in line, while the charger is not. When it comes to the napkins, it can rest on a table or across the plate. If you want, folding it in a nice shape is acceptable. If you have lovely napkin rings, it's the time to show them and simply lay across the plate just like this. A great touch to add is a place card and it's placed above the dessert spoon and fork between the individual salt and pepper shakers. Now, if you don't own these little shakers, it's okay. One thing to keep in mind though is when someone asks you for salt, you always pass it along with the pepper shaker. They always stay together, never separate them. As we can see, the table can get quite busy for a formal setting. Therefore, the bread plate might be positioned at 10 o'clock. Another table accessory that gives a nice elegant touch is a butter knife rest. But if you don't have any, simply rest the knife across the bread plate like we did for the semi formal setting. An individual butter dish is another great addition. In that case, it is placed to the right of the butter knife rest or the bread plate. Now, here's a great trick to know which side is our bread plate. We'll take our index finger and touch the tip of our thumb, with our other fingers pointing up. The left hand forms a B, which stands for bread. 
and the right forms a D, which stands for drinks. It's that easy. Talking about drinks, here's the perfect setup. A glass of champagne is the first position to the right for making a toast, although it can also be after the wine glass to pair with dessert. Then comes the wine glass, either for red or for white, followed with the water glass, and last but not least, the cordial glass for the digestif at the end of the meal, such as port or sherry. One more thing I would like to highlight is the decoration. Keep it simple. Choose something that is low so your guests can see each other without stretching their neck or leaning to the side, and something appropriate for the season or the theme of your dinner. As you saw in this video, there are differences between formal and formal table settings. Now, with this video, you're ready for your event. I hope you enjoyed tips and tricks of the day. And for many more, including recipes, visit cafoodie.com. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!